Everyone, Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Brand new release, 2017-18 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. This is a full 12-box break. Pick your team number one from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got plenty in the store, so if you missed out on your team the first time, you don't have to miss out next time. Go to jazbeeshobbyland.com. All right, so on a Wednesday, thanks for joining us on a Wednesday. There's everybody right here. Jared with that last spot mojo, looking for that fox in the box, De'Aaron Fox. All right. Good luck, everybody. Basketball season winding down. Can't believe the regular season already winding down. We'll be looking to the playoffs. We'll be enjoying the playoffs soon. I'm sure there'll be a lot of... Uh, a lot of playoff craziness to discuss. So what the box looks like right here. We got Jason Tatum on the front. Rated rookie on card autographs. We're looking at one autograph per box on average and a lot of parallels. This is like a lot like prison basketball and a lot like select basketball. The even the parallels here can go for a lot on a secondary market. Even just the regular old refractors can go for a lot on a secondary market. So all these cards will have some solid value, especially with the big name rookies. All right, let's take a quick look at just the first pack. Let's go a little bit slow. I just like to see the design and all that, take a closer look on it. There you go, there's TJ Leaf. There's Mike Connolly, there's Jordan Clarkson, still Lakers edition on that. That's 001 out of 199, first one ever made. So pretty good, S sort of the similar design as we've come to know and love from Optic. A little bit more of a pebbled look in the borders right here, but pretty much the same, love this stuff. All right, now we can go open up all these packs and then start flying through the break. Uh, as you, as per usual on breaks like this, bet base does not ship but all rookie cards, all rookie rookie inserts, all rookie variations, prisms, refractors, numbered cards, and hits will ship. You know, obviously veteran inserts will ship too. Anything that's an insert will ship. Good luck to everybody. This is a longer break, so get settled in. Nice. <laughs> we were playing some music beforehand. Eric's just like, now I'm going to have Ace of Bass in my head all day. Thanks. It's an, it's an infectious song. It is an infectious song. It, it just like a, like a little earwig, like a termite in the, in, the, in the walls of your house. Like a termite in the beams of your house, it, it, it'll bury itself into your brain. That's why I put it on the playlist. I think I heard it at a supermarket or something like that. And I was like, oh, I got to put that on the playlist. <laughs> Drive other people crazy so other people may know my madness. So now you are sharing and what I have to deal with. EA. What's Ace of Base doing? Right? Did, are they on tour? Do you feel like... They had like enough like radio hits to like go on tour and still make money off of touring, you would think. All right, <laughs> to the basketball. Buddy Heal leads things off, and there's Gordon Hayward. Nice, 14 out of 79. Well, I'll sleeve these now, but they'll all be top loaded before they before they go out. Nice. What do they? Hold on, I got to bring up a checklist here. What do, what do they call that craziness? I'll call it. I'll call. What does this look like? Fireworks, pink fireworks is what I'm gonna call it. Or it looks like looks like a quinceanera decoration, but they're gonna probably call it something else, something lame. Pink velocity, pink velocity, no way. This is like pink lasers. La pink lasers, ah, oh, everyone knows except for me. <laughs> Anthony's just like it's pink velocity, I think. Now pink lasers. Pink quinceanera decoration. All clear for takeoff. Velocity. That's not fun. 
Pink confetti. That sounds good. So these are just the regular the rookies cards. The ones that are refractors, those are the ones that have the strong value. This that'll ship anyway. Swishful thinking. I like that. Alex Caruso autograph. Good old Alex Caruso. EA. Okay, not quite the Kyle Kuzma he was looking for, or even the Lonzo Ball or the Josh Hart, but Alex Caruso in Lonzo Ball's absence and in Josh Hart's absence. We're left with Alex Caruso. He's playing okay. He's doing all right. There's Thomas Bryant. Nice Thomas Bryant. That is out of 175 for the Lakers in EA. Nicola Batum. Looking for more parallels now. That's our first autograph. All-Stars, Paul Millsap, stuff like that will certainly ship. Darren Collison. And Marcus Morris in the back right there. Nice. Set all these in here. Our first autograph right here. Who says EA? I can put, put, you got to put some respect on Alex Caruso's name. No respect for Alex Caruso? Look what you're going to make me do. Everyone EA knows that Alex Caruso, born February 28th, 1994, is an American professional basketball player, uh, formerly of the South Bay Lakers. They play right around here, actually, the, from the NBA G League. Currently on a two-way contract with the Los Angeles Lakers. He used to play college basketball for the uh, Texas A&M Aggies, earning second-team all-conference honors in the SEC as a senior in 2016. He's no slouch, EA. Standing at six foot five, listed at 186 pounds. There you go. Guard. Getting some minutes because Josh Hart is injured and because Lonzo Ball's a little injured too. Patrick Goodwin saying he I saw play in Toronto. Uh, you can't retract it. I already read it. I saw play in Toronto. Uh, like you saw a play, like a stage play, musical. You. Saw him play in Toronto. Capital S, capital P, capital T. Well, what's your scouting report, Patrick Goodwin, on Alex Caruso? What do you think of Alex Caruso? I think he's he's making the most of his minutes. He's been playing okay. I think he's should be starting tonight, actually. Yeah, he's playing the Spurs tonight. That's the ESPN game. Oh, man. Eric, I hope you fire up the ESPN tonight and watch the Spurs and Lakers. And you could watch all. Instead of saying who, you'll know all about Alex Caruso after that game. After the game tonight. I know, yeah. The rapper's not, not as good. This year. <laughs> They're kind of falling apart in my hands. Just maybe I need just a little more of a delicate touch. <laughs> this is why Patrick Goodwin is not an NBA scout. Uh, I saw the Lakers play in Toronto, and you think Alex Caruso will replace Lonzo Ball and Kyle Kuzma? No. No. That's just no. That's just a no. Think you'll get five bucks for the card? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's Alex Caruso, man. Second team all SEC in 2016. Of course you'll get five. I don't know if he'll get five bucks for the card. Eighty out of one seven. Hey, if he go, if he has a triple double tonight, there's Pascal Siakam for uh, out of one seventy five for the Raptors. Jeff Goldenthal. Just trying to make you feel better, Eric. But seriously, you'll see him play tonight, though. Watch the game. See what happens. Maybe triple double. For the Detroit Pistons, All Stars, Grant Hill, 
out of 175. Pistons, that goes to Bryce. Maybe some maybe some A and M fan will get it for you for uh, for five bucks. Wayne Selden, ninety one out of ninety nine for the Grizz and Jason Tatum autograph. Jason Tatum rated rookie on card autograph for Michael Necht and the C's Oppo Joe Mojo. Urgh. Gross Celtics, but great for Michael. Happy for you, <laughs> Jason Tatum. Having a nice season with the Celtics. And a nice start. Grizz with that one. That's Josh Hall. Rick Barry. Ante Zizic for the Cavs. You think rookie of the year for Tatum? 15 out of 1. Ben Simmons still considered a rookie. He might he might he might be the one getting that those honors. Oh yeah, Isaiah Thomas I think is hurt too. I think that's why. It's like why is Alex Caruso playing? Nice refractor onto Decompo. We'll set those aside. And Justice is served. Justice Winslow, who's also playing a lot better of late this season. Anyway, fifty-three out of one seventy-five for the Heat. Donald Brazier. This one not numbered, but for the Bucks, Eric Bailey. But nice start right here with the Jason Tatum. Box two, box three coming up. Mentor thinks that Donovan Mitchell will get it. That's also a good challenger for, for Rookie of the Year. It'll be interesting. I think, I think the fact that there's even this kind of discussion is a good sign. You know, of how great the rookie class has been this year. Because remember the rookie of the year discussion last year? We were talking about giving it to players who only played like a quarter of the season. So many players were just not good or just, or just, you know, had not played the entire season. Were just injured. A lot of injuries last year. That was the conversation coming down the wire. Now, we're getting a lot better, you know, there's a lot more debate on who will get rookie of the year. That's that's a very good sign for this rookie class. Watching the Celtics Raptors game right now. Raptors at home. They're up 66-48 on the Seas. I think the Celtics have been a little beat up lately. So they're hoping to get healthy before the playoffs start in like two weeks or something. It's very close. In a couple weeks. We'll see playoffs going. We'll go through scores in the next box. And then we'll go through some standings and talk about who's close, who's in, who's out, all that sort of stuff. All right, here we go. Next box. Another autograph and a bunch of parallels to go. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Knocking my keyboard around. All right, good luck. Tyler Lydon. And four out of five, DeHunta Murray. Nice. That goes to the Spurs. That is for Alan Murdoch. Nice, Alan. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. First train whistle of Optic. Donner's Optic Basketball by Panini. Swishful thinking, Clay Thompson. 383 out of 99. I see what they did there. We got Red Blake Griffin, still Clippers edition, 25 out of 99. There's Giannis Antetokounmpo, this time orange, 32 out of 199. Nice. The rookies. 
Norm Mixon. I like these retro series cards here. And we got Valachunas is your autograph, Dominator autograph for the Raptors. Jeff Goldenthal, Dino DNA. Thirty-two out of forty-nine. Nice one for the Raptors. Let's look for more parallels here. Nice Anthony Davis. Jimmy Butler, green. 142 out of 175 for the T-Wolves. Josh Schmidt. Poor Jimmy Butler. Uh, dude is asking any cases in this product. GCL is correct. No. There is not. Not in the traditional sense. There may be like one hit or two or more that may be better than the other ones, but... But there's no like specific case hit in this. There may be even some cards that are um, that are that fall one per case, but are not necessarily considered cases. All right, in the basketball world, scores one hundred five to one hundred. Magic beating the Mavs. Sixers on the road. With the road win, 115-108 over the Pistons. That's been uh, the Sixers' kind of bugaboo this season. Bugaboo? I think that's the right word. This season, they, they, they just don't win well on the road, but they got to win there. Um, games in progress at the end of the third quarter. Looks like 96-73. Uh, Drew Holiday's at the line right now. 96-73, though. Pelicans with a commanding lead over the... Uh, over the Grizz, yeah, they're not tanking. Or the Grizz know how to tank. Mavericks know how to tank. Uh, Raptors are ahead of the Celtics, 67-53 at the end of the third. The Heat, 115-86 to over the Hawks. That's the final score. And my Lakers playing the Spurs tonight in about half an hour or so. So, in fact, this break will still be going. I think. Or no, we might be ending this break right when that game starts. EA frustrated that the Bulls don't know how to tank. Did they, did they play yesterday? Yeah, they did. Bulls accidentally beating the Hornets 120 to 114. That's not how to that's that's not the way you tank. That's not the way you tank. Come on now. I guess it's harder to tank at home, I think. They were at home. I, th I think when you're at home, you maybe got to win your games. But yeah, but if you're on the road, just... We got Green, CJ McCollum for the Trailblazers. That'll go to David Shaw. One out of 175. There's Luke Kennard, rated rookie. And 36 out of 99. Or no, out of 39. Devin Reed. Look at that. Thirty-six out of thirty-nine. That's pretty cool. This is another one of those velocity cards here. Black velocity. I actually kind of like that. I don't think we've seen this kind of refractor. It's not too common. There's T.J. Warren for the Suns. 65 out of 199, matching the color of the team. I like that. That goes to Michael K and the Suns. There's Alonzo Mourning. That looks a little different, too, that parallel. Green? Yep, out of 175. 35 out of 175. That is for Charlotte. Uh, Alex asking if we're going to have any uh, random team breaks of this. I don't think so. Robert Covington. Pink Velocity, 57 out of 79. 
I think there's a, yeah, there's a redemption here. Rated rookie signature. Card 178. The OG. Anuobi. Uh, that is Raptors, right? The OG? Yes, Toronto Raptors. Dino DNA going out to Jeff G. Goldenthal with that one. All right, next box. Good luck. So we just went through uh, tonight's scores. Now let's take a look at the uh, the standings here in the East. I think uh, teams with the X have clinched. Okay, so these are these are guys that have clinched in the East. Raptors have clinched. Celtics have clinched. Cavs, Sixers, Pacers, Heat, Wizards, and Bucks have clinched. Oh, so the East is all set, actually. The East is all set. Pistons are out. Hornets are out. Bulls are out. Knicks, Nets, Magic, and Hawks are out. Everybody else is in. Now, The what, what the uh, playoff teams have to play for would be would be seeding at this point. Um, the Celtics are two games behind the Raptors. I don't think that the Cavs and Sixers aren't going to catch the Celtics or Raptors, but Sixers are seven and a half. Both the Cavs and the Sixers are seven and a half games back. So they're tied. So they're, they're fighting for the three and four seed. Uh, Pacers, I guess, are Pacers look like they're going to hold in the five seed. And then six, seven, and eight. Heat, Wizards, and Bucks all have the same record. So they're going to be playing for the for some seeding down there too. I'm sure the Bucks would rather would rather not play the Raptors or maybe they do want to play the Raptors in round 1. I don't know. The West is all crazy. We'll talk about that in the next box. But that's the East. How does everyone feel about the uh, the Eastern Conference? Are the Raptors for real? Uh, LeBron and the Cavs are they going to turn it on? You know they got they got Kevin Love back healthy. For what it's worth, Tyron Lue back healthy. That's good. He's healthy. Celtics are a little banged up. Sixers are inexperienced, but they've won twelve in a row. Pacers they're they're not they're not the fifth seed for nothing. You know what I mean? They're 46 and 32. That's a good record. So the Pacers have quietly been playing really, really well. So have the Heat. Wizards are going to get John Wall back. And uh, Bucks, always, you know, they've got onto DeCampo, so they're always in on whatever they're in on. They're in on any game. There's Milos Tesodos Teodosic out of 49. For the Clippers. There's Markel Fultz, the rookies. We'll set these aside too. I know I know that we haven't seen a silver one yet, but or I guess they call they call them hollows in this set, that's right. We got Thomas Bryant. See that's that's the hollow right there. Hollow. Yeah, Sixers do look scary. Jason Cox is saying. Wes Wundu for the Magic. Those greens are out of 175. Lime green, 008 out of 175. Different from the out of five greens. Champ is here. David Robinson, the Admiral. Lime green out of 175. That's for Allen and the Spurs. There's 
Here's Kyle Kuzma, rated rookie. And the autograph is... Woo! Cold as ice. Hall Dominators, George Gervin for Alan Murdoch and the Spurs. There you go. Five out of 49. Nice George Gervin autograph for Alan Murdoch. Nice Tyler Dorsey for the Hawks. Out of 199. Kawhi Leonard. Lonzo Ball rated rookie. Ben Simmons. So I just wanted to pull a handful of these out at least. You'll be getting all of those anyway. The hollow ones... See, this is not a hollow. The hollow ones are the ones that, that really um, have the value. But we'll hand, we'll, I want to sleeve a handful of these so you'll get these as well. All right, so no, nobody, had, nobody had comments on the... On the uh, East, except for Jason, who's saying the six, Sixers do look scary. Uh, and they, they, they don't have Joel Embiid for a little bit, too, right? The uh, Rockets have pulled away from the Warriors. Rockets stand atop the West all alone. 63 and 15 record, six games ahead of the Warriors. Warriors are in the playoffs, too. They're, they're, they're settling right in at the number two spot, and it looks like the Trailblazers are going to settle in right at the. Uh, Settle in right at the number three spot as well. Jazz are a few games behind. I'm not sure if they're going to catch the Trailblazers, but Jazz are fighting off the San Antonio Spurs for the four spot. So Jazz holding on to the fourth spot. Spurs trying to hold on to that fourth spot as well. Thunder also a half game behind the Jazz and the Spurs. So a few wins here and there. Thunder could jump up to the fourth spot as well with a few timely wins. Timberwolves also have a shot, and so do the Pelicans. I mean, with a, a couple wins, a couple losses, and a couple wins, the Pelicans could suddenly jump from the eighth seed to the fourth seed. That's how wild the West is. Clippers still are mathematically in it, and the Denver Nuggets are also mathematically still in it. What will the ideal result for the hobby be? As many rookies in the playoffs as possible, right? That's the ideal result for the hobby. You want you want the Jazz to do well. You want Donovan Mitchell to ball out. That'll be good. You want Jason Tatum for the Celtics to ball out. I'm not sure when Curry's going to be back. He, there, people have said that he might miss the first round of the playoffs. Like that's a that's a possibility. It's Carl Anthony Towns, Demarcus Cousins, is Laurie Markinen, one of the bright spots of the bull season. Seth Curry. Steph's brother, 30 out of 99. Eric Gordon, Paul Millsap. We got Lime Green, DeMar Rosen. Raptors have had a great season this year. Jeff with that one, 86 out of 175. There's Nikola Jokic for the Nuggets out of 175. There's Donovan Mitchell right there too. Yeah, GCL, John Goss saying OKC needs a championship this year. They went all in. They did. 
And is that another spur coming up? Alan Murdoch, look at this. Another old school spur. The Admiral Gold Hall, Mon Hall Dominator. Not Hall Monitor. Dominator. The Admiral David Robinson. 8 out of 10. George Gervin and then David Robinson. I guess technically Oppo Joe Mojo as well. Longtime rival for, of the Lakers. It's a good looking card. Who, who, who doesn't like the Admiral though? Admiral is great. Nice one. There's Ben McLemore for the Grizz. And there's Jokic on the back there. Double O three out of one ninety nine for the Grizz. I know last two autos in a row. Spurs. Oh, they had they had the Duhunta Murray out of five earlier too. Oh, we still have half the case left. GCL, no worries. Half the case left. <laughs> Alan's like, just need a Tim Duncan. I'll be good, yeah. Oh, there's half the case left. GCL. So plenty of time for a redemption. Flawless redemption. <laughs> Well, the West is going to be crazy. I think, um, I don't know, the Warriors run could be interesting. If, if the injuries could really get them. And then they got to think about, hey, can we, play, can we pay Clay Thompson in free agency next year? Or do they, have to do they end up trading him? You know, yeah, OKC has a lot of question marks too after this season. If they don't put it all together in the playoffs, you know, Carmelo Anthony could easily walk. And um, Paul George could easily walk. Although I don't know if they will. I think they might keep one more one more year. Maybe. But Thunder definitely capable of, of putting it all together, you know, for a playoff run. Russell Westbrook could just go off and take over games. You know, you you think a beat up like a like a injured and beat up Golden State Warriors can they hang with a, an on fire Russell Westbrook? That would be pretty difficult, I think. Oh, I see. Alan, Alan's about four miles away from Wake Forest. There's Ike Anigobu, Anigbogu. That is gold for the Pacers. David Shaw on the board. First hit for him, 8 out of 10. Nice one for the Pacers. There you go. There's Josh Jackson. That's a silver, or a hollow, that is. That's for the Suns. Michael with that one. So you can see the difference already. More Laurie Markinen, rated rookie. Looking for the hollow on that one, too. Or Yank. Reggie Miller, blue. There's Jared Allen. There's Jared Allen again. For the Nets, 10 out of 49. Out of 40, 4 out of 49, Reggie Miller. And there's Lori Markin. And there's Markel Fultz coming up, too. Whoa, 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 GCL. Come on now. Don't forget about the Lakers' Alex Caruso. Put some, put, got to put some respect on his name. Don't forget about Alex Caruso. Another Josh Jackson hollow for the Suns. And Ilya Sova. Ilyasova for the Hawks out of 175. 
Jason, uh, Alex Caruso, your starting point guard for the Lakers for tonight. You're going to see him in action along with Brooke Lopez. That's right, Jason Cox. There was a Caruso auto. Thank you. Big hit there. Watch. He's going to go off for a triple-double tonight against the Spurs. 100 out of 199. Chris Paul for the Rockets. Poor Gordon Hayward. Yeah, see? He played at Texas A&M. Exactly. Yeah, J J Jason Cox knows. All right, next box. He's a similar player to Lonzo. Not as good, though. No, he's not as good. <laughs> he's what the Lakers have, though. With Lonzo Ball injured, Josh Hart injured, Isaiah Thomas injured. What do you do? Well, there's Alex Caruso, who's been playing decently for the South Bay Lakers, the G League team. So next man up. Come on, Alex Caruso. They'll be, they'll be. That that game starts in about twenty minutes. We'll all, uh, we'll all, we'll all uh, root after uh, Alex Caruso. Put a penny on the triple. Alex Caruso triple double. What kind of odds am I getting? Alex Caruso triple double. Yes, no prop bet. Uh, yes, you give me plus ten thousand on it. I'll put a penny on that. <laughs> Lakers overall. My Lakers had a pretty solid season, though. I'm, I'm happy about that. I, th I think, depending on what kind of free agent moves they make, this year, who they retain, who they don't, and how they do in the draft. I'm glad they, they picked up that when they traded Clarkson and Larry Nance Jr., I was disappointed, but I'm glad they got a, they're gonna get a late first round pick out of the Cavs. And they didn't have they didn't even have a first round pick before, so I think I'm happy about that. If they do as well in this year's draft as they did last year's draft with Kuzma and Josh Hart, I'll be pretty happy with that. LeBron, see, I'm I'm in the camp here in Lakerland. I'm I'm in the camp that they're not gonna get that. I don't think LeBron wants to come to a rebuilding team. Why would an aging LeBron be like, hey, LeBron, spend like the last you know three or four super productive years of your career bringing along you know bringing along young kids on the Lakers? I don't know if that would really work. Your next auto is, speaking of the Cavs, Zizic for the Cavs. James S. on the board with an auto. There you go, James. First one for you. Three out of ten. Jamal Murray playing some good basketball lately as well. There's Jason Tatum. Saw his autograph earlier. Frank Jackson, another hollow. You add LeBron to that team, you think top four team in the West? They're, that's not going to be better than the Rockets. They're not going to be better than the Warriors. They might be better than the Trail... <sighs> that's what the Trailblazers do, too. Think they'd be better than the Jazz? Maybe. Maybe that would be a top four team. <laughs> Hmm. Well, now you got me thinking, Jason. I just don't think... I just don't think LeBron wants to do it. Out 
out of 99, Joel Embiid. Carrying a little injury as well. There's Josh Hart from my Lakers. Dan Smith Jr., of course. These rated rookie cards are pretty nice. They're not hollows, but they're still pretty good. Champions here, Shaq O'Neal. Lakers edition. That's 11 out of 99 for EA and the Lakers. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta make a comment. Um, like this Asian kid here, Zhu Key for the Rockets, like this guy must just destroy, right? On like the playground, like pickup games. Because, listen, no offense to this kid, but like, you know, it doesn't look like a, a basketball player. You know what I mean? You know, Jeremy Lin, you know, he could look like a basketball player, you know, but, you know, Yao Ming definitely looks like a basketball player. That doesn't look, he looks, looks like just like a regular kid, <laughs> you know? So I'll bet he'll go to like the park playing pickup basketball, you know? Think about how underrated he is and then he'll just destroy. Just play for money, he'll destroy. Because he, cause he's a pro, he's, he's not gonna, <laughs> there's Kuzma, there's Clay Thompson. Can you imagine that? Like he'll go to like, he'll go to like down to Venice Beach or uh, what's you know any any of the any of the any of the playgrounds in New York or something like that? God will just destroy. You know they're like, who is this kid? They have no idea. People have no idea who he is, but he's a pro. He's got a pro contract. He gets minutes for the Rockets. And I'll bet he'll just go there and he'll be like, yeah. Um, well, you want to put here? Listen, how about, how about we play for some money? I'll put you know hundred bucks a game on this or something like that. And they're like, yeah. Pff. Total ringer. Nice Dennis Smith Jr. Total shark. That's what I think he's going to be. Just in the offseason. Out of 175, Dennis Smith Jr. for the Mavs. That'll be for EA Sports in the game. There's Juwan Evans, rated rookie. He'll, 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 just, he'll just shark, guys. He'll, like, start shooting with his offhand, you know, game one or two. Then he'll then he'll suggest, hey, why don't we play for money? And then he'll just destroy. I'm gonna tweet him. I'm gonna suggest that's what he should do. I'll make a good viral video. All right, next box, ladies and gentlemen. Add LeBron to the Lakers. What does everyone think? If LeBron was added to the Lakers in its current incarnation, and if they kept Julius Randle, they re-signed him, would they be a top four team in the West? Are you supposing? Are you supposing that uh, that the Lakers also keep uh, Brook Lopez as well? He's a free agent as well. That's right, Anthony. That kid would that kid would definitely Uncle Phil some dudes on the playground. Man. They wouldn't. They wouldn't know what's coming. They wouldn't know what's coming. Be better than the Cavs now. Yeah, maybe. Although the Lakers have grown over the season to play more as a team. Where the Cavs definitely feel like just more individuals kind of collected together. It's got it's. I don't know if Tyron Lue's. I don't think he's a bad coach, but he might be a little overmatched in terms of because that's the job of just getting personalities together. What's that job? While whereas Luke Walton's job here with the Lakers is to just get some good fundamentals underneath the belts of of these Lakers. A little hollow rated rookie for Ojalele. There's Tyler Ulis. Any guesses on the redemption? Yeah, Lonzo, Kuzma, Ingram, Hart. If they re-sign Randall, that is a pretty good core. Are there any concerns about 
perhaps LeBron James disrupting the progress of those young players? Patrick Goodwin thinks that just straight up NBA championship if they had LeBron. There's Lou Williams out of 99. There's Julius Randle. I do. Julius Randle has improved a lot this season. I do like Kyle Kuzma. And out of five for the Pacers, Demontis Sabonis. Nice one for the Pacers, David Shaw. Two out of five, David. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Kyrie Irving out of 199. I'm telling you, he would he would smoke guys on the playground. They wouldn't even know what was coming. Oh, he's 7 1? Oh, they might know he's coming. No, maybe not. I thought he was I thought he was a lot shorter. No, 7 1, you see him all coming on the playground, you're like, oh, okay. We're about to get schooled here. Uh, out of 175 for the Knicks, Dave Dubuchere. For the Knickerbockers, Seth Curry. For the Mavs, out of 175. So Patrick Goodwin is guessing Dennis Smith Jr. on the redemption. EA guessing Kuzma on the no one no no other guesses. Anyone alive out there? Anyone watching? Guess not. Rated rookie signatures blue. It's Jordan Bell. Jordan Bell for the Golden State Warriors. Moody on the board with his first auto. Alan Murdoch says Otani. If Otani popped out of here, I think Topps has an exclusive with Otani, don't they? Maybe. Tiny pops out of your people. What if that happened? Jason Cox wants to run this back. He says, let's do Optic 2. I only see three orders coming in right now, ladies and gentlemen. From Jesus, Tyrone, and Ben Thompson. That's it. I don't know what they're buying, but we're only three boxes away from finishing this break. We're making excellent time on this. So... Let's figure it out. For I would like to run this back. I do like the basketball. There's a lot of value in here and a lot of inexpensive teams for a full 12-box break. Yeah, he did hit another home run today, Otani. The legend continues. Not since Babe Ruth has someone won a game in a start and hit a home run in the same week. So, Otani, Babe Ruth, confirmed, pretty much. Which kind of sucks. That, that, that's got to be like a weird amount of pressure for like a 22-year-old kid, 23-year-old kid. A 2018 Bowman price is going up? Yeah, probably. We're, we're going we're to get an invoice from our distributor and be like, oh, by the way, we needed to slump just the week before <laughs> and then go off the week after. All right. There's Lonzo Ball, the rookies. We got Justice is Served, Justice Winslow. Pink Party Confetti parallel to 79. <laughs> what it looks like to me. Aaron Gordon, Jalen Brown, 
Deer and Fox. Ah, another guess. Another chance to guess, folks. Guess that we're welcome to another edition of welcome to another episode of Guess That Redemption. There's Hollow, De'Aaron Fox. Nice one for the Kings. Last spot, Mojo, Jared. That might carry some solid value too. I think he did. Kershaw hit home run opening day versus the Giants a few years ago. Oh, nice. Even better. Another one right here. I think he did. I think I want to say that. Uh, wow, twelve out of thirty-nine. Steph Curry. Black velocity. Nice one for the Warriors. Moody. Um, I think both Kershaw and I think both Kershaw and Madison Bumgarner may have hit home runs off of each other that game, didn't they? We got Caleb Swanigan for the Trailblazers. We got James Harden. Is James Harden your MVP this year, folks? He might be. All right, James Harden, red, 35 out of 99. That's a good strategy, EA. If you keep guessing Kuzma, it'll hit eventually. Out of 175, Caleb Swanigan. The Fox in the Box, Jared with the Kings. Out of 199, De'Aaron Fox. That is strong. And you got the Hollow. Hollow. Hollow edition of De'Aaron Fox as well. Josh Hart for my Lakers. Just a regular one and just a standard rated rookie for De'Aaron Fox. And some Lonzo Ball as well. This looks like just the regular base version as well. Nice Steph Curry. All right, the redemption is rated rookie signatures, Dylan Brooks. What's Dylan Brooks not signing his cards for? He's on the Grizzlies, right? Yeah. Come on, Dylan. Dylan has plenty of time to sign those cards. For a second, I, I forgot if there were two Zs or one in Grizzlies. Just a synapse misfired in my brain. Uh, for Memphis, Memphis on the board for the first time, Josh Hall. All right, two boxes left. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, everyone. That's what he's doing. He's 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 uh yeah. Instead of signing cards, Dylan Brooks is enjoying Memphis barbecue out there. Unbelievable. They're they're tanking anyway, so he's just like yeah. Go play go play some ball. Go enjoy the the delicious delicious foods in Memphis. Maybe go maybe go on that mud. Mud River Mud Place. What's that place called? Take that tour. I want. I watch the firm. I know what goes on in Memphis. You know, ride that like that trolley, something like that. Isn't there a big uh, yeah Mud Island Mud Place? Yeah, Mud Island. See, all I know about Memphis is from the movie The Firm, and uh. And my friend Rachel Haley Dickens, who's from uh, who's from Memphis as well. That's what that's what I know about Memphis. She says it's great. Isn't there a big pyramid there too? A big pyramid where they play basketball inside the pyramid. <laughs> Pretty sure that exists as well. Yeah, hit up this hit, hit up a dog. I've never been to a dog track. I'd like to see that. I heard Memphis is a fun town, except for the firm. <laughs> the firm will get you. Frank Jackson, red. This guy, Dylan Brooks, sign your cards. 
Dylan, come on, man. Oh, that pyramid's now a pro, Bass Pro Shop. Oh, 30 out of 99, Frank Jackson. Hmm, that's disappointing. There's Chauncey Billups, Retro Series. It's Timberwolves edition of Chauncey Billups, 41 out of 99. There's the rookies, Markel Fultz. There's TJ Warren, Orange. Out of 199. Markel Fultz for the Sixers. Not a hollow, but still nice nonetheless. Another redemption. Is, is it going to be this guy? For EA. Or is it going to be someone else? Patrick's been guessing um, Dennis Smith Jr. for a little while. That'd be nice too. There's PG-13. For the Thunder, that is out of 43 out of 175. Rated rookie signature, card number 192. It's Dennis Smith Jr., not Kyle Kuzma. Sorry, EA. But congrats to EA, <laughs> who has the Dallas Mavericks as well. There you go, Eric. Not this guy. I personally would have rather had this guy. But you still get that guy. Who's a pretty good guy. Pretty good guy. All right. Last box. Good luck, everybody. Hey, you're welcome. He's no slouch either. He's no slouch. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. This is Optic. Pick your team number one from jazbeeshobbyland.com. I only see three orders coming in right now. What, what do we want to get into after this? We've got plenty in the store right now. On jazbeeshobbyland.com, we currently have... 14 teams left in optic number two. That's very doable for tonight. We've got six teams left, just six left in Panini Flawless Football. Pick your team number four. And once we fill that one up, we can post another Flawless Football. We even have a little tribute baseball in the store. We've got some uh, hockey fans. We've got Upper Deck OPC, OPG Platinum Hockey for tomorrow. If you want to do some of that. Fanatics Under Wraps. Next level baseball is available. We've got, oh, I don't know, a 16, 17 Spectra basketball. We can do last year's Spectra basketball. Some Ben Simmons rookie cards in there. Help pay for multiple spots in a break. That's only 20 bucks, too. Uh, I'm not sure, Max. Max is asking how much you think a Bill Russell out of five sells for her from Optic. I don't know. With the older guys, it's sort of harder to tell. I think it's easier. There, there's just more data on on rookies, but I'm not sure. Does anyone else have a guess? Maybe Jason Cox knows his basketball. He might have a guess. EA, perhaps? Anybody else have an opinion on that? I know. we got to find a market in for you, too. Hopefully sooner rather than later. All right. There's Rudy Gay. Last box, folks. Thank you very much, and good luck. It's more Markel Fultz. Dwayne Bacon, DeRozan, Ante DeCumpo. We got Dwight Howard, Orange. He's been actually playing pretty well this season. 
credit where credit is due. 115 out of 199 for Charlotte. That'll be for Anthony. There's Markinen. It's Malik Monk. Is the autograph, not Markinen. That will be for Anthony, though. I think this is what he was looking for. Anthony, right? Wasn't this what you were looking for? So there is Malik Monk on card rated rookie autograph for Anthony. Let's see if we can find some other uh, low numbered parallels for people. There's Chris Dunn for the Bulls. Lime Green out of 175. 122 out of 175 for EA and the Bulls. Covington, hollow. Swishful thinking. Juwan Evans, Blake Griffin, Jamal Crawford. Looks like we have one numbered parallel here. There's Thomas Bryant. You have Oselli for the Celtics. Hollow. There's Andrew Wiggins. Pink confetti. It's velocity. 76, 75 out of 79 for the Wiggins. Timberwolves. That's for Josh Schmidt. Dan Assel. Retro series. I love the old Nuggets logo. 45 out of 99. <laughs> Do they? I need this guy back in my life. Is he a mascot in Denver? He needs to be. Denver Nuggets, that goes to King D. And there's your break, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no randomizers do. That was pick your team number one. Yeah, we got you right there at the end, Anthony. Got you on the board. Thank you very much, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got more in the store. We have pick your team two down to 14. Pick your team three down to 23. Pick your team four selling faster than three for some reason down to 18. I'm sure we can do another case or two of this stuff tonight and throughout the week on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.